Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the recipients of the fifth edition of the Prime Minister's Journalism Award at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness recognized the integral work that journalists have undertaken to contribute to Bahrain's progress and achievements made under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He noted that the award was founded by His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to honor journalists whose work exemplifies the media and press's role in reporting information of public importance. Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa thanked His Royal Highness for sponsoring the award and reiterated his admiration for the journalist's support of the kingdom's development. After that, the awardees expressed their appreciation to His Royal Highness for promoting a more diverse and effective media environment. The Minister of Information Ali Rumehi was also in attendance. The winners were Osam Al Majid from Al Bilad newspaper, Best Columnist Award. Saeed Muhammad from Al Bilad newspaper, Best Investigative Journalism Award. Tamam Abu Safi from Al Ayyam newspaper, Best Interviewer Journalism Award. And Sultan Al Haddad from Bahrain News Agency, Best Photo Journalism Award. Information Minister Ali Rumehi said that the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa of Team Bahrain in tackling various challenges has been widely appreciated for its distinction, noting that His Royal Highness has set the best examples in distinguished management and turning challenges into opportunities to attain national achievements. The Minister stressed that His Royal Highness fully believes in the importance of State Department's transparent and dealing with the media, given the latter's crucial role in enlightening and developing society in all fields. He also said that this has been clear during the exceptional circumstances what Bahrain and the entire world are going through as a result of the spread of the coronavirus pandemic, noting that since the outbreak of COVID-19, the government of Bahrain under His Royal Highness's leadership has been taken to report all developments and numbers transparently, which contributed to achieving the forecast goals during the pandemic. The Minister praised His Royal Highness's patronage of the 5th Prime Minister's Journalism Award and His Royal Highness's support for journalists in a way that achieves their aspirations and recognition of their responsible efforts to build on the previous national gains. He affirmed that His Royal Highness's constant support for the press and journalists is a badge of honor for all press and media personnel in the kingdom, noting that it confirms the responsible historical role played by the national press in enlightening the public opinion and supporting the comprehensive sustainable development market in the kingdom. Romehi asserted that the national press will always remain committed to His Royal Highness's sound directives in carrying out the journalistic and media mission with competence and dedication in order to serve top national interests, safeguard the kingdom's security, stability and progress, as well as preserve its cultural identity and authentic tradition during His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's prosperous era. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Charity Educational Endowment, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the Board of Trustees meeting, which was held remotely. His Highness congratulated the graduates, their families, and the Ministry of Education's faculty, wishing them all further success. He underscored the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to education in the kingdom. He also underlined the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which enabled the kingdom to deal with the exceptional circumstances imposed by the coronavirus pandemic, evident in continuing the, to provide services to students across all levels. His Highness reviewed the technical educational process of the endowment for students and affirmed his keenness on providing all the necessary resources that would facilitate their academic efforts. The Minister of Education and Deputy Chairman of the Endowment, Dr. Majid al naimi expressed the appreciation of the students of the endowment and their parents to His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman. The Board of Trustees then discussed the scholarships plan for the upcoming academic year. His Highness approved the eighth scholarships plan to a number of both public and private universities in the kingdom. He also expressed thanks to the authorities for cooperating with the endowment. His Highness also reviewed a report on the number of scholarships between 2013 and 2021, which were granted to 246 students to 15 national universities and four international universities. His Highness directed to follow up on the students and provide them with support to continue their studies. The Council discussed the development of the endowment investment project which is proceeding according to the time schedule as its investment resources are expected to contribute to supporting the endowment's programs upon completion of its implementation. 
And to talk more about this, we are joined over the phone by the Secretary General of the Isa bin Salman Charity Educational Endowment, Ms. Mona Leblouchi. Hello, Ms. Mona. Tell us about the endowment's progress in facilitating the follow-up with students, especially during the current health circumstances. Uh, first of all, if you allow me, I would like to express our gratitude to the support offered for uh, His Majesty the King, uh, Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness, uh, Highness Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Isa bin Salman Charity Educational Endowment. And thank you for providing us, uh, providing us the opportunity to talk about it. To answer your question, the endowment has always maintained contact with students and follow up their progress. And this has not changed during the pandemic. Students have access uh, to support whenever they need it, and their, uh, their education is the endowment top priority. A student progress is mentored on a regular basis, and thankfully the students in Bahrain continue to excel and thrive despite the challenges of the pandemic. Ms. Muna, the endowment has offered many local and international scholarships. What do you tell those who would like to apply? Uh, the youth of Bahrain should continue to study hard and invest in their education and in themselves. The education of young Bahraini is the future, and the endowment works to provide students with opportunities to better themselves academically and as citizens. The endowment was established especially to support a student who struggle financially and can't and they can't uh, continue their study uh, on their education. So we support them uh, through the trust. The plan for the scholarship aids to intake was discussed during the meeting and every year the endowment is announced and that's when the student can apply. And of course applying for the eligibility for the scholarship will be uh, uh, processed online. Secretary General of the Isa bin Salman Charity Educational Endowment, Ms. Mona Leblouchi, thank you for joining us. The SME Development Society was chaired by the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani, with the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Lim Ayyad. The meeting discussed the various metrics for the Society's agenda, with the objective of achieving 80% of it by the end of the year. The meeting praised the performance of Export Bahrain, following its achievement of $100 million over two years, and exporting products and services from 51 categories and 10 economic sectors, and entering over 55 markets from around the world. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,079,873 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,010,882 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 1,537 with 233 recoveries, 112 registered new cases and one death. 65 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 38 are contacts of active cases and 9 are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.